Okay, so six we are keep solving the GRE mass, so fifty six. Uh, the polynomial is p of x equal equal to this and approximate the uh one point zero one square root of one point zero one, uh, which of following must be a clear approximation. Okay, and uh, uh, so basically the the term uh we are using is definitely is one square. I believe it's some uh the Tyler expansion of this term. So the binomial coefficient tell you that. Uh, okay, maybe I shouldn't write this. Uh, I should write. Mm, yeah, I should write square root of x, and uh, expand it into x plus minus 1 plus x and so it's 1 plus x minus 1 and I demand this as minus 1 is some, somehow uh, smaller uh, very small so basically I have so this is a Tyler expansion and now uh, since we need we want to know the arrow so we need to know the, the third term okay so let me remind us uh, remind you guys that the x to the alpha power is basically 1 plus alpha x alpha alpha minus 1 x squared divided by 2 alpha minus alpha times alpha minus 1 alpha minus 2 x cubed divided by 3 so uh, we need to we need arrow turn so the arrow turns here so it's okay this term so this term is uh, 3 uh, over 8 divided by 6 and then minus, minus 1 cubed. So it's 1 over 16x minus 1 uh, to the cube. And uh, this is error term. Uh, so x now x is 1.01 uh, 1 .01, so the error term is uh, 1 over 16 point a uh, point zero one cube so this is 10 to the 6 uh, 16 uh, negative uh, 10 to the negative 16 uh, so it means that uh, suppose you use the the third turn approximation to approximate this point zero one then this square root basically okay so that means if i use the third turn a proxy then i will write uh, 1.0 to be the the, f uh, the first three terms plus this term okay and uh so this minus this minus the second turn uh, the third turn the, the second order approximation will give the arrow basically here this okay so the answer is uh, mm, the answer is what the answer it looks like the answer is a the answer is a uh, basically this is not a clear deviation derivation okay so so there are Tyler approximation theorem uh, says that uh, the arrow term if you use the f of x and the Tyler expansion to the nth order the arrow term must more than n plus 1 order so the arrow must be smaller than the second order Uh, if your if your approximation x falls into the open uh, the close interval a b, then basically you can use uh, so you and you use the a to be the expansion. So basically this x minus a term will be will be bounded by this b minus a to the n plus one uh, n b minus a to the n my, uh, plus one power, and uh, this term is derivative is the n n derivative the maximum. Uh, n's derivative inside here so basically uh, this is the formula that uh, uh, we usually use to estimate the bound of Tyler expansion 
So basically, we need to find the n powers, the n n the n plus one derivatives, maximum and the times the the bound the interval powers, the the length of interval powers divided by n plus one factorial. <coughs> so the answer is a. I mean, if so, you you see, if you use this formula, then you will you will leave the same, uh, same, uh, same term for me, uh, for us. But the problem is, uh, the error is positive or negative, right? Because the, the because this formula usually only tell you the absolute value of the error. It does not tell you that the error is positive, right, or negative. But actually, since this sequence is alternative, so. If you use a second turn, uh, the second order, then you minus a lot and you plus something, so the error must be positive. So this is somehow a tricky part. So the answer is A.